Hey there, in this video, you are going to learn how to back up your iPhone to iTunes. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. I create video lessons, tutorials, product reviews, how to's, all sorts of tech related stuff to help you improve your lifestyle. So if you like what you see in this video or you learn something new, please consider subscribing. All right, this is my preferred method of backing up an iPhone. You can also back up your iPhone to iCloud, which I talk about in another video. But in this video, I'm going to show you the best way, in my opinion, to back up your iPhone. And the only way to back up your iPhone if you do not pay for extra iCloud storage space. So if you're running on that freebie train like me with the five gigs of free iCloud storage drive, this is how to back up your iPhone. So for this, I'm going to, I got my iPhone already plugged in right here to my computer. I'm uh, gonna show you right now how to do this. Uh, I'm gonna throw on my sweet little gamma ray glasses really quick because my eyes are about to melt. Um, so you're gonna wanna open iTunes, plug in your iPhone. It might give you a little pop-up that says like, do you trust this computer with your device? Just click OK, put in your passcode, whatever, and it's connected. Then you're gonna see uh, right here at the top of the screen, you're gonna see a little like iPhone icon that's gonna pop up and you're just going to click on that. Now it's gonna show you all your iPhone information. Hopefully you can't see like my social security number or something right here, and I'm probably gonna to have to do some blurring out. Okay, but this is how easy it is to back up your iPhone to your computer. Right here, you don't gotta click anything, you're already on summary. You're gonna see a little like button thing right here that says back up now. Sorry, that was a little overkill on the circles. Uh, all you're gonna do is, you, oh, oh, make sure, excuse me, excuse me, I didn't, I didn't clarify, make sure this computer is selected. That means it's gonna back up to your computer. Now you're going to click back up now. And now you sit and wait, or you go and make a sandwich, or if you're on keto like me, you go and make like eggs and bacon and like butter cubes. I'm just kidding, I don't really eat butter cubes, but like you don't need something like that. Or you go and, um, I don't know, what do you guys do for your free time? Leave a comment and let me know, like, what do you do for fun? Like, uh, do you like binge watch Netflix or like uh, play Fortnite, I guess? That's like a cool thing to do these days. Or like paint or like play with Legos. Like, I don't know, maybe you're like 10 and you're watching this and you have an iPhone. I see kids these days. Um, seriously, I see like six year olds with iPhones these days. I didn't get my first cell phone until I was in high school. And let's see, I was a junior in high school and they had like the OG, like LG flip phone with like 50 texts a month. So I'd get a text in class from a friend that would be like, dude, what are we doing tonight? And I'd be like, crap, I have like 1.4 text messages per day that I can send. And so then like, I literally couldn't reply to him because it's like, I have one message to send every day. And so I would like, value that text message with my life. Anyways, that's a little off topic. But you can see here that my iPhone is backing up. And so when that little blue bar there fills up, your backup is complete. We'll be right back after this message. One eternity later. Oh, would you look at that? Backup is complete. All right. Now, if you want to learn how to find your backup, if you're paranoid and I don't know, you want to know like if your backup worked, you're going to go up here into iTunes, preferences, devices, and you're going to see your backup right there today at 134. Now is what I can do is I can go to these old backups and I can just click right here, delete backup if I want to, because I really no longer need those backups but that is how to back up your iPhone to iTunes. And then when you're ready to restore a backup, you just click the restore backup button and you'll choose from one of your saved backups that are saved to your computer. And that's how you restore your backup to a new iPhone. All right, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up guys, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of our other videos. Make sure you check out some of our other videos on our channel because there's a lot of good tutorials 
That'll help you become a little more tech savvy, learn things about online business and all sorts of tech related stuff to improve your lifestyle. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video. Everything's about you.